you cannot run 3D modeling softwares like Revit on an average specs laptop, as it shall throw a lot of compatibility errors and if somehow you manage to run it, you might experience slow and sluggish performance. Are you planning to upgrade to a laptop that can run it smoothly? Autodesk Revit is a modeling software used by architects, engineers, contactors, and designers. To get the tasks done, it requires serious computing power, fast SSD storage, good amount of RAM, and a better graphics card. The Acer Aspire E15 is a budget model for those looking to run Revit. It sports a 15.6 Full HD display with 60Hz. The machine has 8GB RAM, which can be upgraded to 16GB. The CPU for this one is the Core i5-7200U. For storage, the Acer Aspire E15 has a 256 SATA SSD drive. This laptop sports the 8th generation Intel Core i5-8250U processor, which launched in 2017. For GPU requirements, the Acer Aspire E15 relies on the NVIDIA GeForce MX150. Another variation has the Intel Core i7-8550U. The Acer Aspire E15 offers standard connectivity options, with two 3.0 USB ports and one 2.0 USB port. The laptop also has a USB 3.1 Type-C port. The laptop's motherboard has an embedded graphics card, the Intel UHD Graphics 620. It takes entertainment seriously as well, as is evident by their Acer Harmony, which limits audio distortion and basically gives out good quality audio to listeners. The Lenovo IdeaPad Y700 is an entry-level gaming laptop that runs Revit quite well. The laptop sports a 17.3 inches Full HD display. There are two other versions of the machine, one with the squinty 14 inches display and the bigger, standard 15.6 display. The machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is just about enough to run Revit. The display gives good viewing angles indoors as well as outdoors. Storage is handled by a 128GB SSD and an additional 1TB HDD. Revit requires an SSD or an HDD with more than 10,000 RPMs for large and complex models. Since both are present in the laptop, you can have the recent files stored in the SSD partition and have the other less important files in the HDD. The machine runs on the 6th generation Intel Core i7-6700HQ. Lenovo IdeaPad Y700 sports an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M. The graphics card is good enough for playing games at medium settings and running Revit seamlessly. Users will benefit from the two graphics cards available. The Y700 uses the NVIDIA dedicated graphics card for graphics-heavy programs. For other, generic usages, it makes use of the Intel HD 530 inbuilt graphics card. It ensures improved power consumption management and takes off a slice of stress off both the graphics cards. It has a 15.6 Full HD display. The display has a matte finish, making it usable in outdoor and bright conditions as well. The IPS display makes it possible to view the screen from odd angles, good if Revit users are making presentations to an assembled crowd. For the CPU, it has the Intel Core i7-7700HQ processor. The laptop comes with 16GB RAM, which can be upgraded to 32GB. The graphics card, the GTX 1060 has a stunning 6GB of VRAM. It has a whopping 256GB of SSD. The embedded graphics card is Intel HD Graphics 630. The laptop trumps other laptops when it comes to the HC as well, with an eye-watering 144Hz. It allows the user to decrease the HC from 144 to 60. The Predator series is known for its unique look and great build, and it's the same with the Acer Predator Helios 300 as well. It's mostly made of plastic, only the underside and the keyboard tray are metal. Something Revit users looking for a portal laptop should keep in mind for durability. The laptop does its task, but the one disadvantage is the weight. The laptop is bulky and the word portable doesn't really come to mind on seeing this one. The battery life for this one is just about more than 5 hours that is when you are not gaming. Gaming and other graphics heavy activity will mean a steady stream of battery usage. So, prepare for a plugged-in experience. Microsoft made a comeback with the Surface series. 
The Surface Book 2 comes up as one of the best options for laptops running Revit. The entire series is known for being sleek and highly portable and the Surface Book doesn't disappoint. The Surface Book 2 sports an 8th generation i7 processor. The RAM is placed at 16GB. The graphics are taken care of by the NVIDIA GTX. For storage, the Surface 2 offers 1TB SSD. The Surface Book 2 is available with a 13.5 display as well as a 15-inch display. The graphics cards differ too. The 13.5 one offers 1050 GTX and the 15-inch display Surface Book 2 offers 1060 GTX. The Surface Book 2 also stands out because of its aluminum body and the fact that the display is detachable, increasing its portability to a whole new level. The Surface Book 2 also wins brownie points for being nothing like a workstation or a gaming laptop when it comes to design and looks. Instead, it looks like a highest-end tablet, something that works for Revit users who wouldn't want an all-gamer tag like laptop out during their client presentations. The Surface Book 2 has a resolution of 3000 times 2000. It weighs lesser than other laptops in this list, at less than 2 kilos. The MSI WE72 has good specs, making it one of the better placed laptops to run Revit. It comes with the Intel's Core i7-7700HQ. The laptop spots a 17.3-inch Full HD IPS display. What's more, the RAM in this laptop is upgradable to 64GB. The laptop comes with a special Cooler Booster 4 technology, which dedicates heat pipes for the CPU and the GPU, making cooling processes faster and better. It also comes with a whopping 32GB RAM. The graphics are taken care by the NVIDIA Quadro M2200. For storage, the MSI laptop also has 512GB SSD. MSI has branded this as a workstation, it is a bit different from the other brands who have no qualms portraying their high-end laptops as gaming laptops. Branding aside, MSI has kept the design and aesthetics closer to the bold and unique aesthetics seen in other MSI laptops. The top panel looks like a superhero's cape covering up, not the best boardroom visual for Revit users. In our tests, we found that the MSI WE72 runs Revit quite smoothly. The available RAM is more than the minimum required for running the software and the graphics card supports DirectX 11 making the experience really great for 3D modeling softwares.